I want to thank you for staying with me with these thyroid relief success secrets. I think they're very, very valuable for you and helping you to understand the complexity of thyroid dysfunction. Today, we're going to talk about thyroid binding globulin. This is success secret number 10. Now, when thyroid hormones are secreted from your thyroid gland, they're bound to a carrier protein. This protein is called thyroxine binding globulin, or TBG. So TBG is similar to a taxi cab. And visualize a taxi cab and uh, your thyroid, thyroid hormones T4 and T3. So these T3 and T4 hormones hop into the cab and they're transported uh, to the liver where they're then converted to uh, the active form. This T4 is converted to T3 so they can be carried on. Well, once they're converted, and then they jump back into the cab and they're transported then to the rest of the body so that they can actually be utilized in the body as an active hormone. Remember, that's T3, uh, T4 is converted to T3, then T3 has to get into a receptor site in order for your body to work properly. So the fact is that there might be too many of these little taxi cabs or thyroid binding globulin or carrier proteins called TBG that are normal, uh, that the normal free T3 uh, and free T4 that should be floating around within the bloodstream just for maintenance purposes uh, isn't. Too many of them get picked up and they get carried off the tissue. Uh, it's as if they're getting all sucked up by this big sponge and all these little taxi cabs which are thyroid binding globulins are taking too many of the proteins along with them. Here's the thing, your thyroid stimulating hormone will look normal, your T4 will look normal, your T3 will look normal, and if that's all the markers that your doctor is actually looking at, then the problem is going to be completely missed on your blood test. This is why you need all the thyroid testing done that we do in our office. Not just T TSH, not just T3, not just T4, but you need the resin T3 uptake, you need the thyroxine index, you need the reverse T3, we need the thyroid binding globulin, we need the free T3, free T4, total T4. So it's just not so simple that we run a couple of tests. We want to make sure that we get the proper testing, which is what we do included in our comprehensive blood panels. If your TBG is too high, even though your TSH uh, or thyroid uh, stimulate hormone is normal and your T4 looks normal and your T3 looks normal, uh, your doctor needs to check your T3 uptake. It will show you that you actually have a T3 uptake is low when the thyroid binding globulin or TBGs are too high. Now, I know this gets pretty detailed, but that's, what we, that's why people, so many people out there have problems is because doctors are not doing the thorough testing that they should. They're not evaluating you from a functional basis. Remember that taxi cab reference that I talked about? The range of T3 uptake is extremely broad, where the optimal functional range is very, very much, um, very much ne more narrow. Estrogens and hormones hanging out in the body elevates the thyroid binding globulin also. Birth control pills containing estrogen uh, can do that. Some uh, face creams and cosmetics contain undisclosed estrogens as well. We live in an estrogen dominant society, so our hormones for women are going off the charts for many, many reasons other than just your body's not producing. So we definitely want to evaluate women if we're having hormonal problems with, uh, with their cycle, also with a complete female hormone panel. Now these estrogens can elevate your body, uh, in your body, and they're detoxified through the liver. Now if you have poor liver function or an inability to detoxify the liver, this is yet another reason why you could be having thyroid type symptoms. Uh, it's not necessarily the thyroid gland problem, but there's more uh, to it and that the liver might not be doing the conversion that it should be doing, converting that T4 inactive form of thyroid hormone to the active form of T3. So it's important to realize that there are many, many more causes of your thyroid uh, dysfunction. Um, hopefully you've learned a few things for each one of these thyroid uh, recovery success secrets that I'm giving you. If you. I don't want you to suffer for another minute, another day, or another year. Uh, we want to get to the core cause of the problem and call our office for a consultation, examination, and case review of your existing blood work and we'll get to the core cause of the problem. Don't wait another minute. Uh, space is limited. I only accept so many uh, thyroid patients throughout the month. So I want to make sure that you, you are at the front of the line and you don't have to have a, a delayed wait for the examination. My name is Dr. Michael Corey. Uh, you can contact our office at 714 730 5833. I've enjoyed this time with you and hopefully you've learned something in the process. We'll see you on the next uh, success secret that we give you. Bye-bye.